Hello, my name is Jana and I'm one of the Mind Apples trainers. Today you'll see I'm talking to you from my sofa because it feels quite relevant to what I'm going to be talking about today. So today I want to speak to you about discomfort. Now, many of you are saying to us at the moment that there are certain habits that you're getting into which maybe you would prefer not to be in and you're finding it hard to reverse them. So whether it's, you know, reversing your sleeping patterns at the moment or having more wine than you would like, having more chocolate or junk food, maybe you can't stop online shopping, whatever it is that you're doing that might be more compulsive or harder to control than normal, I just want to look at that in a bit more detail and kind of try and figure out what might be happening there. Now, at Mind Apples, we're experiencing many of the same issues across the team that we are facing a lot of uncertainty at the moment. And one of the ways that we've found that's useful of um, thinking about what's happening at the moment when it comes to these behaviours that maybe aren't very useful for us in the longer term or very healthy is to really think about the mood states that we're finding ourselves in and how this might relate to this behaviour. So Robert Tyer is a psychologist that we talk about at Mind Apples when we're speaking in our mood workshop. And we talk a lot about this state of discomfort that Robert Tyer talks about, which is when we have low energy and high tension. Now I'm just going to hazard a guess that many of us may be finding ourselves in a state of low energy and high tension with all the various challenges that we're facing, including the fact that we can't leave the house for very long every day. So going to the pub or going even to the playground, take your children to the playground, these things that we may have done to try and reduce our energy, sorry, our tension and and raise our energy, they just aren't open to us at the moment. So we're needing to find new ways to do that. So for me in particular, right now, you know, it's a very common sight that my toddler will be climbing on my head while I'm trying to get some work done or I'm, you know, just trying to find ways to entertain him. And at the end of the day, I feel exhausted a lot of the time and I feel more tense than I normally would because I'm trying to do everything under one roof. So what is happening for you? Maybe just tune in to certain things that are happening every day that are raising your tension and reducing the amount of energy that you have. And if you are relying on things that maybe aren't as healthy as you would like, it could well be because you are trying to find ways of getting a quick fix to raise your energy or reduce your tension. So you might be drinking coffee to raise your energy, but maybe a bit too much. You might be having alcohol to try and reduce your tension, but maybe a bit too much. Or you might be finding yourself going online shopping just out of pure boredom that you haven't left the house in a long time and you're spending more money than you would like. All of these things are because we're trying to find comfort in a time that could be creating a lot of discomfort for us. So it's very human and very natural that this is happening. But the more that we can understand this, the more that we can begin to become a bit more in control of what we're doing rather than our habits taking control of us. So have a think about things that you could do every day to raise your energy and reduce your tension that are more healthy or sustainable than what you might currently be doing. So it could be that you could go for a walk when you need to raise your energy and reduce your tension, or it could be that you want to do some other kind of physical exercise. Maybe you want to absolutely have some comfort food. Nobody is against that, but just make sure that you're balancing it with a bit more nutritional content in other food, or maybe more hydration, drinking more water. Just finding ways to try and balance some of this out and hopefully the more that you know and that we know about why we're doing these things it might become easier to put that into perspective and just bring a bit more balance back. So I hope that's been useful in some way. Please do stay in touch with us. We're going to have lots more videos, lots more content, tip sheets and information coming your way to try and help to navigate this time for all of us to kind of take care of ourselves as best we can.